uh, I want all these things. Okay, because this is so lucrative, because there's so much going on here and I want to stay, I think it's actually time to uh, bring on our second uh, hero. And with that second hero we can uh, free this up or we get this stuff. Could get water elementals, although there's no rush for them now. They're not going to be amazing against the pikemen. We did lit miss out on Brissa, but we've got Galar, Galar, and okay, we know about the carnivorous plant. 350 gold for free each turn. Fantastic. This guy's got no hope, although I like Resurrection. Alamar. Um, I do like Resurrection. Uh, ooh, tempted by both of these guys. 24 and 4. His army is useless. I think I might end up buying both. It's hard to <clears throat> hard to justify that. They both come with a spell book. He's a warlock. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I like hiring Gelar to buy the 30 sprites and go and uh, get the rest of this work done. The sad part though is that the sprites will die. We are going to lose some sprites in the process of unlocking these areas. Um, but I just can't, this is just way too lucrative, I just can't afford to not uh, be in here uh, getting this gold. So we should, by the way, while we're here, let's have a look at what the spells are. We have slow, so Labitha is going to need to come back uh, and learn this. Um, she already knows Bless, but she would also pick up Haste and Magic Arrow. Both of which are pretty important. So we could make a case, actually, that Labitha's got to come back uh, to learn that before she goes too far. Um, let's make our purchases. This I can't believe how cheap that is to do, so whatever. Yeah, oh, these guys are incredible value. They're just so, so good. Um, at this point I'm thinking if our army is big enough and our spellcasters are powerful enough like look at what he can do he's got 30 spell points and he can do all of this for, for is he a water mage is he he's a water mage as well so he can just, he can bless for 4 that's fantastic like right, right off the bat blessing these guys every time I just wish I had more like 15 air elementals <laughs> But we don't. Um, if we think this scant army can win these fights, then basically what we're saying is we're beelining towards City Hall rather than desperately trying to get more troops on board. So I'm tempted to leave Labitha where she is, start building towards our City Hall. I mean, Marketplace is a very low, low to the ground. Um, sort of uh, town to take anyway, uh, or building to take anyway. We haven't visited there yet. Uh, I'd like to get that, and then I'd like to get this. Which one do I want more? So against a horde, I get a magic arrow them, I can, I can take them. I can take them, but I'm going to take them all. It's my decision. 25 and 25 is barely a horde. <laughs> Wait, uh, with both... Oh, the familiars are faster than me. That makes me want to... try to protect these guys. I'm faster than them, though, right? <gasps> that would be a disaster. Oh my god. <clears throat> no, you can't make it. Alright. Um, I feel like I'm going to deal... How much damage do I deal? About 100. And they have health of about 100, but their attack and defense skills are superior to mine, so... Uh, the girls are going to need some help to get this done. Do I hold down control? Okay. Uh, 
here. Yep. Four spell points, purchase the fight. Sprites are fantastic. I actually hadn't, it hadn't occurred to me how good they are with Bless. They're really good with Bless. Um, so let's do the no-brainer things first. Um, before we take on lots of halberdiers with him, I feel like I want to explore. This Colosseum is really good, this arena, but lots of basilisks. Ooh, we have a prisoner, guarded by lots of crusaders. Summon boat. Summon boat uh, will be useful. I don't know if that's actually a square you're allowed to stand on or not. But that could end up mattering a lot, depending on what is on the other side of that. Um, you start summoning boats down here if we get a someone who likes navigation. Seems okay. I could go get the money, see if I can get to that sea. So, oh, look, I can just go there. I'm going to assume the flail is guarded by something that's too hard. I'd rather come back and face the horde with a bigger army, campfire and windmills, just okay compared to these other things I can do down here. Oh, free resources everywhere you look, just fantastic. Uh... I'm going to resist the urge to... The main thing I'm really hedging against here is some random hero galloping down along this road here and taking the chest off me while I'm here mucking around doing something that I could do any turn on, on any turn. Um, so are we doing this fight? Lots of halberdiers, probably about 40. Uh, pound for pound, they're about twice as powerful as a familiar. Um, we are going to take casualties. I can maybe do kiting though. I've got magic arrow. Slow could be relevant. Happy to spend as many spell points as we have because we can always replenish up here. Even though it's not very efficient. Yeah. Um. I think I prefer the tight formation as well. Okay. Oh, thank God. Absolute doddle. Absolute doddle. Won't be a problem. Uh, he says confidently. Oh, especially if we get one coming down here. That's just fantastic for us. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can position the uh, air elementals to do the cleanup job. Uh, three attack versus six defense. So we'll do our classic move. These guys can't come around here to help. Not that it's going to matter. Unless morale happens. So if morale happens, I'm going to be really sad. Um, but I think I get to win with no losses again for four spell points. By clicking this wait button. And then... Unless morale happens, I've just completely no need to do anything. These girls are going to do all the work for us. Yeah, these things are just so good. Sprites, man, they are just unbelievable. Okay, give me some money. The Naga Bank. Okay, so in the early game, a Naga Bank has like 10 Nagas, which has like a thousand hit points. Surely not, right? Yeah. No, so that would be suicidal. Um, definitely not doing that. Do I need crystal? I have three crystal. What am I doing that might want crystal? Nothing. Don't know what the upgrades are on these. How important crystal is to me just yet. Uh, again, that's just going to be sitting there. No one else is going to get it. I can pick it up any time. So, I'm trying to just figure out the best place to go. Um, 
love to know what that spell is. Do I have time to go up there? I think I've got time to go do this. Can kill the goblins. I don't, I'm not too worried about goblins, he should be a doddle. Damage one to two. Just terrible, right? Terrible, terrible. You know, like that's their level one, and this is our level one. It's like night and day. Uh, okay, uh, I can make here with him. I just don't see these things doing anything interesting. Kite move. Wait, I'm minded to attack with the air elementals actually. Ooh. Five perish. How much damn did you deal back? 17. Well, that's more than I was expecting. <coughs> they have uh, under overestimated the ability of the air elementals to do good. So they're going to kill five and then they're going to take one in, in return. Uh, these things have a HP of 60 in total. So I think that means I can kill them with magic arrow. I think that's the way to go. We definitely do not want to lose soldiers. 6,000 bucks saved up. Let's keep building towards our city hall. City hall doesn't cost any resources, it's just cash. That's really, really nice actually that we're going to have that online sooner than, sooner than average. It's all because of Lamitha and uh, this excellent work she's doing. A smooth stone on the face of this pillar begins to swirl as you approach. Looking into it, you're amazed to see answers to questions you've pondered for years. The stone suddenly goes still, but you realise you have learned much. That's a level up, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh! And you see, this is the beauty of this game. It just gives you these little rewards and you just feel like, yes! That's awesome. I've never had much luck with basic luck. I, I've, I've never loved luck as a mechanic in uh, or as a skill a secondary skill in the game I'm minded to say no to it now I'd like to give it a try but I am going to say no the reason is that it doesn't work well with bless if you're going to be blessing everyone under the sun okay this girl doesn't have basic water magic she's earth magic so how often am I actually going to cast bless I still think I'm going to cast it a lot right I'm going to be blessing my troops a lot and as a result of that, luck <sighs> luck isn't great. I suppose eventually luck lets you do double damage. If you have th all three levels of luck, you can, when you roll uh, successfully on luck, it will let you do double damage. Um, yeah. So anyway, maybe when luck comes up on somebody who isn't going to be doing a lot of blessing, I will we'll try it. Um, but... Happy to stick with advanced intelligence and get the extra spell points. <coughs> Let's have a look at our spell. Yeah. Our building for today, before I forget. Oh yeah. Mm. And look at it. It's way bigger and more powerful and I'll be earning two grand a day. Thank you very much instead of one. Absolutely fantastic. It's pretty rare, actually, that we get left alone and we get this much opportunity to just pick up free stuff and um, you know, kind of print well for ourselves. I'm a bit concerned about the wood situation. We've got excellent stone and there's more stone here. I think it's worth, worth it to get that wood now. Let's come down here and see if I can open up this mercury mine. Feeling pretty confident. Ooh. Dragon Wing Tabard. I can't remember what that does. Uh, it might be Knowledge plus one or something. Lots of Marksmen. Uh, 
lots of marksmen are going to be difficult for us to beat. And yes, perfect. Lots of familiars. That's exactly what we're looking for. Jeller. Ooh, that is a spell. Hello. <laughs> yes. Town Portal. Town Portal is maybe the most important spell in the whole game. Um, you toss it in your backpack. Yeah, you do. Ah, oh, look at that. Town Portal. Oh, I've got to click this button. There it is. 16. I can even start using it now. He could, in theory... I can do this, right? I could actually just cast it and go start town portaling right now. Oh no, wait. Could I? Surely I need the right wisdom. Could I? What happens? It says fourth level. But I don't have... I don't have enough wisdom. I'm not going to try because I don't want to town portal. I don't actually want... I don't want to go back to town. I want to go and kill these. But uh, what happens with scrolls? Is it that you don't need the wisdom, you can just... I'm surprised that that hasn't come up before. Anyway, just let me quickly check something. Stone skin is not in here, so I will send Galer into there to learn stone skin while he's at it. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just do this fight. That's going to be a costless fight again. Massive advantage that the Conflux Hero has in the early game when, when he's got sprites and magic arrow and bless. Like, awesome. Um, health 4. These guys really underperformed last time, didn't they? Uh, <coughs> we just won't risk it. I'm assuming these girls will kill that. La la la. Oh well, someone's immune to that. Uh, and I think we're all immune to it, ever casting it at all. You come across a small shrine attended by a group of novice acolytes in exchange for your protection. They agree to teach you stone skin. I can walk through there, look at that. That's kind of handy. I could go pay Labila a visit, give her some more sprites. Uh, or she could give me her army. I'm going to want to get Galad Galare to the Seeing Stone as well. Uh, and we really want to keep exploring. So, that's what I said before. I think there's a case for hiring Alamar as well. I don't have enough money to hire him, although a very quick visit to the marketplace would have... I'd have enough money. For 25 gold, I have to give you one stone. So yeah, two stone for 50 gold would allow me to hire him now. Um, yeah, it's a tough decision. Uh, he could start doing the rounds, like learning the spells, all that kind of thing. Uh, or I could use that money to get an altar of air built. Can't do that yet. Um, five and fifteen hundred, yeah. Uh, oh, and you can skip this and go straight to water elementals. Can't skip. Okay, yeah, you can skip one. So if you want to skip water, you can. Okay, yeah, so you can skip fire or water, but not both. And then this one... Oh, no, you can't. You need all of them before you get the altar of thought. Okay, right. So the sad thing about this is that water, fire, and earth elementals aren't very good. Like, you know, tier 5, an earth elemental. Other towns get, like, minotaurs and thunderbirds. <laughs> yeah, 
Earth Elemental? But I suppose Tier 1 is fantastic, so... Uh, you can't be too upset about it. So, here's a critical decision point in the game. Do we hire a third hero we don't really need to do what? To run around and learn things? Uh, he's going to learn things while the other two are exploring and he's going to be able to move troops around. Like, uh, to ferry troops back and forward. Uh, he could jump in the water, actually, as well. We could go see if there's uh, some free stuff out on the water, which can be quite lucrative. The other thing is that he's not a complex hero, so we'd be... Um, which one's the tavern, this one? Well, we definitely don't want her. Oh, meteor shower. Pretty good. Uh, but I find necromancer... Uh, Necropolis heroes are just... I don't like hiring them if I'm not the Necropolis. Uh, it's almost like a flavour thing or something. I don't know. Uh, they, they're perfectly fine, of course. And you can just dismiss the skeletons uh, that she raises. But it doesn't feel that great. Alamar, should we go for you or not? You're a basic scholar, so you can yeah be teaching people... Spells back and forward. Resurrection really tempts me, that's all. Uh, in fact, if you become an expert scholar, can you teach resurrection to everybody else? On that basis, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do it this way. This could be wrong. Now, I've got the money I need. Alamar, here's your money. Welcome to the team. These things are going to be fairly useless to us. Um, learn forgetfulness, uh, waste of time. I can learn. I think I learn stone skin naturally off anyone I visit uh, or speak to. Um, yeah. So I think I'd rather use this guy as a ferryman between uh, my two soldiers so that... I mean, it's not going to matter. Lots of pikemen. He's going to be able to kill lots of pikemen anyway. Um, so what's the fight where I need a hundred sprites? Uh, right, what else is LeBear trying to get done? Lots of crusaders? Probably too hard. These things... Lots of basilisks? Kind of similar to lots of Crusaders. Uh, I think that's too tough. I don't think combining my army will be big enough to fight either of them. The only unit of interest is this. We'll fly in with tons and tons of sprites all spread out across the battlefield. And our reward is this. Which I think is plus one knowledge. Oh, it's not that good. Whatever this thing is. Is it? I don't like to look up. I try to use my memory. I could just look it up, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. So the troglodytes are slow, um, and I'm not planning to use them in combat for anything at all. Uh, leaving them behind allows him to be uh, a little bit faster. I think I like intelligence for everyone. Seems okay. Alamar's going to go here with no help. And he's going to do this. Uh, I'm going to do this. Yep. Uh, inscrutable is the word. The other thing Alamar could do this week is hire the water elementals. Okay, so... We're not doing anything that fancy here, we're just... So this guy can do his job. He already knows that. Okay. So this is the same fight over again. It's actually, a, you guys might be even getting boring at this point watching my sprites kill. 
things. Uh, yeah, this was a little bit... These guys actually feel quite vulnerable, like I've got to protect them. I'm carrying them around and they're slowing my army down almost equal. All else equal. Four kill that many. Sixty-four. Attack skill two. Defense skill four. Don't want to take any chances. Let's just kill. Yeah, they're gonna hurt, aren't they, when they attack? They're gonna kill at least a couple. Uh, she doesn't know Magic Arrow, though. Two, three, six, seven. So what if I just keep her alive? Do this. That was maybe a mistake. Should have gone for the other. Oh no no, it's a, yeah, no, no, I had a logic thing. Yeah, because that stops the arrow. How many did did I lose? Six? Oh, 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 oh. That hurts. What could I have done different there? I kind of in the back of my head thought that I had magic arrow arrow up my sleeve like what I did before with the um uh whoever Alamar was for the other guy. What's his name? Eleron? Ah, oh, look, I don't know. But I mourn this, the death of those six sprites, and it does materially change the... What's his name? Gelar. Okay. It does actually change the dynamic now, like, um, I'm gonna need to... play a little bit more carefully. Um, she's coming to there, there's no question mark about that. So I can start hiring my free water elementals, I think that's probably something I should do. Um, Galar's gonna go boom boom, he's gonna land about there. And I, Alamar. Alamar! When you've got a ferrying hero, you do have to accept that sometimes, um, he's gonna have wasted moves, wasted resources. Uh, these cost the same anyway, so. Um, let's build it. Piffly little thing, isn't it? What do they cost each? Three. See, that's my problem with these. Three hundred. That's like all my money. <laughs> so he's going to have to spend eighteen hundred. He's going to spend all of our income tomorrow at that altar that's at the top there. He might have time actually to go there, grab the ones that are there, run back. Galar does this. Yeah, that could work, that could work, let's do that. Alright, so we buy them. Feels like a rip-off, but alright. Yeah, easy. Look at that, he easily had time. This thing here is plus one spell power or plus one knowledge for 1,000 gold. Similar to this thing here, you don't want to do that at all for the first month, uh, I would say. The 1,000 gold is just way too valuable. Uh, in catching you up to where the opposition will be. And this is a thing that sometimes the game can feel like tickety-boo, like you're doing a great job, everything's just, oh, awesome. And then you run into your first enemy and they've got tier six creatures and you're just like, whoa. Um, so the game can be a bit cruel uh, that way. All right, Galar, what can you get done against? Pikemen, lots of pikemen. Okay, it looks like that was nothing actually. Alright, so waiting, waiting, I'm faster than them. Going to bless and kill uh, this stack, am I? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, why don't you do nothing? Bless you, no retaliation. It might be that we need to spend two turns on this stack. Yep. Okay. Uh. Yeah, this might be wasteful. I don't know. 
speed 3, so that's pretty good. Uh, these guys are just not good enough in, in, in small numbers. Air elementals. Okay. Uh, now I get two attacks in a row with no retaliation, assuming there are no morale flashes for the pikemen. So bless ran now. So cloak of conjuring, here we come. Eventually, our two heroes will meet each other, and uh, we can even things out a bit. Um, sadly, scouting is just not good. Um, different modifications available for the game make scouting a more interesting skill and unlock different things with scouting. Um, I'm not, it's not 100% clear to me that the AI benefits from that. Maybe it does. Um, I, I'm not sure. <clears throat> um, but anyway, this is the vanilla game and basic scouting. Sometimes it's actually okay on a really big map if you've got the right type of hero in the right place and it can really pay off for you. But he's not even our main guy, you know, so I'm just not that sad about missing out on, uh, on scouting. This is the first time I'm really, really sort of half considering taking experience, but yeah. Okay, we guessed nearly right. Okay, so Alamar starts learning things. Okay. Uh, let's give the town portal to. Um, Keep the harpies with Alamar just f from a flavor point of view. Okay, Alamar goes up. He doesn't need spell points. Um, yeah, I think this is right. I've got enough money to do this. Yeah, so it's literally the same as the town. Interestingly, in the town. Five mercury. I've got tons of mercury. So I think this would be worth doing. Um, now the fights that she's going to face... Ice elementals don't matter really for this. It's all about the sprites. Uh, they'll be good here though. They'd be very good. Against Basilisk, Crusader... Oh, now I'm thinking about maybe sending him back. Look how far I can ride in one day. Holy. Has he got logistics or something, has he? He seems to be able to ride a long way. But it takes an extra day for me to deliver troops to Labitha. So the question is, what's Labitha doing? And I think she's got plenty to do, actually. She can wait. Right. Go here. I think she already knows. Well, she hasn't been to the Mage Guild, actually, so she didn't know haste. Do this, why not? Come to here, let's have a look. Go here. Bloodlust now, she's getting quite the collection. Alamar will be good at learning all of that and teaching it to everyone else. Ransacking. Okay, now things get interesting. Uh, a horde of imps. Uh, I just feel like ice elementals are good here, for here and here, and the prison is often often worth it. So yeah, we'll go with that plan. We'll go with our new plan of upgrading to ice elementals. Uh, I probably could have made that decision more efficiently, uh, but. <coughs> The upgrade doesn't do anything graphically, it looks almost the same. Uh, Alright, let's just go through with plan A. Now that we've done it, um, we have to get the utility. 900 is not too much, actually. Um, and we have... Why doesn't that upgrade on the map out there? It doesn't until... okay. We have an army, right? We have an army that we can take the marksman on. And 
by the time Labitha's done that and finished exploring, there's some imps she's going to kill. We'll have fresh, fresh, weak three troops uh, to come and attack the Crusaders with. So these are cheap. Oh, one thing I will say: these are cheap. These altars, fifteen hundred bucks. Where's the altar of air? It's up here. Yeah. Okay. So I want to use Alamar because he's a scholar, um, rather than passing. Normally I pass the, everything over to Gellar to, to, to go up and, and do the job, but I want to teach Labitha all of the uh, stuff in the Mage Guild. Which, if I had the sulfur together, it would have been a really good business case too. There is some sulfur too. I could have maybe gone for it um, uh, as a plan. Could buy the air elementals. Uh, in fact, I'm going to do that. And then we might actually have a stack of creatures that we can <laughs> do something with. Uh, he could just keep these harpies all day long. Like, he doesn't really... How do I... Is it shift? Yeah, it's shift. Shift key. Um, give me back that town portal. I can't believe it. It looks like I can cast a town portal, because normally it would be greyed out if you do this. Oh, no, well, it is because I don't have enough spell points. I, don't, I, I have to see if that works. I almost want to save the game and experiment, try casting it and see what happens. Um, okay, so a bit of faffing around there, but look, with your transfer hero, it doesn't matter if he gallops around and wastes his moves a little bit, like if it's not perfectly optimal. It's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Um, starting to get to the stage of the game where I might be interested in investing the thousand gold in these sorts of things, but I don't actually have it at the moment, so it's a good point. There's the sulfur. Do I have everything I need now? I need one more crystal. Um. Could just clear this now before we meet up. Uh, I'm tempted to do that. Like we don't want these guys leveling up and causing more uh, um, drama. Okay. See, so the ice elementals are slow, um, but geez, they packed a wall up there, didn't they? Killed ten familiars from long range. Uh, Twenty-five to a hundred damage. Still not great. Let's see how hard this hits. I shouldn't need to cast any spells this game. Yeah, no. So, I can even do this. <laughs> no strikes back. Glorious victory. A glorious victory. For Valor in combat, he receives 148 experience. Let's go here. Ooh. Getting some good spells. I don't actually end up using Fireball all that often in the game. 45 points of damage for 15. Or you can hit a single hex for 4, hate, for four spell points. Okay, now that's an advanced version. Okay, if you had advanced Fryball, surely it would be higher, but um, yeah, Fireball's not one that I end up actually casting all that often. Um, now, Alamar, we've already done that. I don't need you to learn forgetfulness, I don't think. Could come down here in my spare time, I've got a couple of days. Now what have I got to do? I've got to get these and bring them back down. I've got to be standing here at the end of tomorrow. Which doesn't give me a lot of time for sightseeing. He seems to be able to move so far in one day though. I think we can do this. And I need crystal. So let's just get that done quickly. Oh, there's sulfur there too though. I need both of those things. Um, yeah, go on. It's going to take me an extra day to get the army together, but I think that was worth it. 
So before we take on the Horde, let's stick our noses up. Gamar, where are you going to get to? You're going to get to here. Um, and with this army, uh, I'm confident enough to take on the Marksman. That needs to happen tomorrow, actually. So Galar... Actually, Galar could do... No, he can't get there. Look at that. He's only going to get through there tomorrow. So this is a really important um, technique as well. Probably a lot of you people who are watching this, if you are still watching, know this game so well. But you need to plan tomorrow using the um, pathing here. So, for example, I was thinking to myself, oh, Galar can kill the... Galari, he can, he can kill the marksman. But actually, when you hold the thingy down here, the theoretical moves would take him only as far as here. So he can't do it. This girl clearly can. She can get here today. Uh, so she obviously is the one who we'll, we'll be using to do that job. Um, that has to happen, I think, tomorrow, because these guys will level up. Lots of marksmen will become a horde of marksmen in two days from now. These guys might get more beefy as well, but we're not as worried about that. This girl has enough time to visit this bloodlust. I think we're going to risk it, because I'm not coming back here anytime soon. This is the very, very corner of the map. It's like I'm never coming back here. Oh, I'm going to start to regret this. She's not going to make it. Ah! <laughs> oh, no! Oh! She makes it to here. Oh wait, but there's still a sword. There's still a sword there. Ah. <laughs> oh, I was either the biggest idiot in the world or the, well, I won't say the biggest genius in the world, but how good is that? Like if that works out, she's gonna exactly have enough movement to engage the marksman tomorrow by, with nothing to spare. Please, 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 yeah. <laughs> This is why I love this game.